she's losing control of her butt muscles. You got loosey goosey booties. You remember me? No. Nope. Hello. Hi, good morning, my loves. Welcome back to today's vlog, which I'm so nervous and excited about because it's finally the first time that the dogs are gonna react to our front lawn, which sounds so stupid. <laughs> but they're gonna be reacting to our full entire house bits. So, oh my God, they're gonna react to my merch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so this one is Tiger. Who should I do first? Should Let's I do, do Tiger. Tiger first? He's a little baby. So we haven't taken him out of the carrier at all, so this is the first time I'm seeing him. Oh my, are you ready? Hey! <laughs> Who are you? Tiger. Who is this? Go pee pee. Mingo, Tiger! Mingo, Tiger! Mingo, Tiger! Mingo! Oh my god, Mingo! 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 Oh, oh my god! Hey, they look so happy. Oh, Tiger looks like he gained a couple pounds. Tiger, did you gain a couple pounds? Yes, he for sure gained. Tiger, come here. Excuse me. Mango. Excuse wow, Mango trying to go in every second. Mango. Mango. <laughs> Mango, bud. So Mango. Tiger. <laughs> Guys, why does this always happen to me? Why do they never know who the f I am? Why are they always like, who's this? Stop trying to escape. It's not prison break. It's your new house. <laughs> it's not a prison, okay? Hi, Mango. I miss you. Mango, I really miss you. What is Mango doing? Trying to escape already. What's going on, Mango? Do you remember me? I don't think she remembers you. Nope, nothing. Tiger! Mango, love me! Mango, love me! Mango, love me! Should we show them the backyard? I swear, if one of you tries to jump in at Mango, are you crazy? Mango! 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 Like, Come on, honey, don't be stingy. Oh my god, it's like old times all over again. Wow, he's thick. Mama, do you have something to say for yourself? Guys, I'm honestly really, really sad right now. Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to today's vlog, which I know, judging by the title of this video, you guys are so freaking excited. I'm here to crush your goddamn dreams. It is not what you think it is. I know what you're thinking. What a beautiful reunion of two souls who have missed each other for such a long time. You and Mingo, the dog that you dedicated your entire career, your channel, your Instagram, everything to. Hence, Miss Mingo Bud. <laughs> Bits. No. Hey, this is just as bad as last time, except this time is a little bit worse because they got overly stimulated. They took anti-anxiety before they got on the plane because the vet told us that they need anti-anxiety meds because their anxiety was through the roof when it comes to traveling. It was a shit show. They came, they conquered the grass, they pooed every Everywhere, and then they passed out for what felt like the majority of the day and now I think they're finally kind of weaning off the medicine and it feels like oh never mind I spoke too soon <laughs> she's still sleeping and he's still sleeping I think they think that they still own the house though because this is their first time seeing the house and they've been doing the most haven't you been doing the most uh, do you like it here we've just been kind of keeping all of the doors closed because they're not really comfortable with the space yet and I also don't want them getting into things and mainly pooping and shit and peeing and stuff and so they've been roaming around <laughs> it's been really cute oh, look at how cute she is excuse me excuse me i'm sorry is that your room she's like bitch these are all my rooms this is miss mango's house okay and i'm mango wow look at her shaking her butt i think that this time around they actually do remember me like tiger was trying to cuddle with me while i was taking a nap earlier and so everything's been well they are experiencing a little bit of health problems he got bit by bobo or mango and so we've been applying medicine on that <laughs> yes dogs get into it that was our bad and mango's doing just fine she's the hbic head bis in charge so she's just roaming around making sure everyone's up to speed everyone's up to her standards Okay, she wants me to stop vlogging. <laughs> she just growled at me for no reason. Mango, did you miss us? Cool. 
Whoa, this is good stuff, riveting, guys. And I think we're gonna put up these clear gates because these are the ones that we got in the mail earlier. Let's put these up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I feel so bad, my dad has come and he is manually assembling all of the doggy crates. Mango is quality control. She's inspecting it, make sure it's up to code. Oh my god, my mom is so insane. So these are pantry organizers that I ordered from Amazon and my mom is gonna wash them first. It's for like chip bags that are probably disgusting and she's like, no, I must wash them. This is what happened. I have been meaning to do this shoe closet for what feels like 25,000 years. For some reason, I just was so not into it. Like I knew that I needed it because I was wearing the same shoes over and over again and I just wanted better shoes to wear in my collection. And let me show you guys the after. I love it. I love how each shelf is super high so that I can do like boots without crinkling them because when I had like my own shoe rack from the container store, I think, <laughs> adding the container store, no, no tea. It was just a regular shoe rack. Everything would have to crumble and I would have to like squeeze my boots in, but these are just perfect. I also like the fact that they're just like shelves instead of just like, you know, the, the ones with the two wires. I feel like things are always slipping through. It always gets dusty. And now that this isn't closed, it's not going to get dusty. And my fiance has literally two pairs of shoes, some dress shoes up there. I feel like he has another box of dress shoes, I just can't find it. So this is my shoe closet, and this is my future shoe closet. <laughs> and this is a step stool. I was wondering how I'm gonna get to those top shelves, but I just step on this, because it's super sturdy, and I can just reach all the shoes up there. Wow, they don't even wanna come out. Yeah, the door is open, I don't know. They love it. I don't know. What? They're <laughs> weird. <laughs> It's like you're, you're not forced in there. You can come out if it's jail sale. <laughs> wow. Mango, you too. This is one of the most Korean things I've seen because she got two different types of soups. She wants us to eat a little bit of both. So she put them in these tiny gold bowls of just two different soups. This must My be a first for so her too, cute. right? Because these are soju cups. Yeah, on my ego back for you come it on that. She said, yeah. She's like, I'm getting wasted. <laughs> have a party. That's how my mom parties with soup. Tomorrow. Just a quick update, guys. I know that I wore this yesterday and I could just casually act like it's the same day, but it's mother freaking not. It's actually the next day. Dogs were so freaking tired. Mango and Tiger, like they were just having a little bit of struggle adjusting. Not like struggle, but just, I think they were just exhausted and so they were knocked out and then they would have like these bursts of energy. I feel like you don't really know what's hazardous in your house until you kind of see the dogs roam around. Yesterday was super busy, packed with that. My dad helped us set up like all the doggy play pens, which they seem to really like. Someone told me, I I feel like I always have this weird feeling of like an enclosed space for dogs, but someone told me that dogs, they kind of like enclosed spaces. We just kind of leave the door open and they go in and out. So we're trying to keep the dogs off the sofas for right now because she went to the vet in Atlanta. She was having dingleberry problems to the point where we nicknamed her Dingle Bells, right? My mom, my dad, and my sister, and they kept taking her to the vet. Apparently, she has something that they suspect is just that she's losing control of her butt muscles. And there's not really much that we can do to help her but we're putting her on like a higher fiber diet with farmer's dog and then we also are putting some maybe like pumpkin in there so if you guys have any other tips if you guys have dogs who got loosey goosey booties let me know in the comments because we need some tips Mango, do you want to show them your butt muscles if they just run to either the front door or the back door and stand there and I'll open the door and they'll run out and they'll just like do their business and she's crazy obsessed with the pool. she's so obsessed with the pool Mango. My parents are home. Hello. So my parents are out getting oh some groceries goodness. from Ace Mart. So much stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Mango? Mango's checking the inventory, making sure there's no drugs or any <laughs> substance. Mango, did you see anything? Bark if you saw something. Bark if you left a dingleberry somewhere. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, she definitely did. I found two today. There she goes. Around. Yesterday, I literally just lay right here. Mango! Mango! Mango, guys! Mango, come here! Mango, come here! Mango, come here! come here!
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Tiger listens to everyone, call him. Oh my god, there he goes. Come here, come here. Oh, there he comes. Good boy. Call Tiger. They should wear it a couple times before actually wearing it in the water. So that as long as they don't have it on land, it'll be easier for them to Life jacket? Should we just put it on and throw them into the pool? No! That's horrible! <laughs> Why? They can't float? Oh my god, Tiger, you want some? You want this? She looks like a little submarine. Mango looks really cool. She looks like she knows how to swim already. The moment I release this, okay. Mango will shoot out like a rocket. Okay, let's Ready? See. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. So this is what we're doing? Yes. We're gonna put plant some trees, wrap it yes. up, bring in some chairs for the backyard. Yes. I want it to be like almost like a wedding venue. Mm. So I want the checkerboard dance floor because I'm really good at chess and like mm. shuffling and moving the moves and like securing the bag and like okay. getting the corn. <laughs> okay, you think your dad can do all of that? Honey, you're doing it! So this is the before. <laughs> what is happening? My parents I don't know. Are in the hot tub right now. They're enjoying it a little too much. Yeah, they really are. They keep going, yeah, we're just gonna get up now and work on the wallpaper. Is they that what they say? About an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We're going to fill up this little floaty. And surprise them. Yes, which I don't think they'll be that impressed, but you know what? What is it? Oh, it's a... Flamingo. Mango. They're so curious. I know. They're like, this is my house. I want to know everything that goes inside. It's been about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did we show them the lights? No! What the heck is what this vlogging heck? vlogger? I'm the vlogger. vlogger. <laughs> Look at this, guys. My camera looks kind of weak. How do you describe it? I would describe it as like a French bistro. First date cafe. Mango's judging Where's you. My gelato. So my mom yeah, yeah, yeah. cooked us the most beautiful, so beautiful meal of rice. And this is what's called bukuk, which is radish soup with mushrooms and green onions. And it's supposed to be like beefy and brothy. And this is one of my favorite soups that she makes. So I'm kind of excited about this one. <laughs> she still got it. Oh my God. <laughs> it's moving and she doesn't care. She's just gonna stand here. Beast. <laughs> My mom said Bobo and Tiger will just run away. Yeah. Wow, Koro <laughs> Daniel. Oh. Next challenge. <laughs> Next challenge. Round two. She cannot uh, defeat this one. Watch Mango breaks it. Yeah, I know. She rips her feet into it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is how she catches a ball. <laughs> Who wants the ball more? Guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. We're still trying to acclimate them to all of the different struggles that have been happening. I feel like as our Frenchies are getting older, they are definitely developing more health issues, which honestly is not really something that I was expecting because a lot of people said either Frenchies, they are born with a bajillion issues and that's like just something you need to know before you go into this breed, you're gonna have a bajillion issues. And like that's another okay, reason. Um, they have a lot of allergies. So right now we're trying to acclimate Tiger. So he was having a bit of allergies in Atlanta, but then I feel like something is like a little bit more sensitive to his skin in LA. So we've been trying to give him some immunity, like allergy, like non-prescription, like nothing heavy. We have like this um, anti-itch spray. 
So hopefully that'll help. These are all like supernatural stuff that we got on, um, like we read all the reviews because I got real crazy about it. And then we have like some of these tiny little immunity vitamins that we were giving him. Like these are all the stuff like the vet recommended. So we're just trying to like kind of acclimate him because his paws are getting really, really pink. And I think what's worse is like they're so itchy that he keeps licking them and it makes it turn kind of like raw. But we've been trying to deal with that. We've been trying to deal with dingle bells over there right behind me okay and the way that we've been dealing with that is putting pumpkin in her food and singing dingle bells every time she walks by <laughs> every time we spot a dingleberry now we don't even go oh my god there's a dingleberry we go dingle bells dingle bells dingle all the way we're great parents by the way but that's gonna be it for today's video guys because I have a lot to do my parents are finishing up the bedroom um not or one of the rooms in the wallpaper I feel like I need to help we did the string lights today it's a shit show tomorrow we're possibly building a boat possibly teaching the dogs how to swim I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'm gonna go spend some time with my family by wallpapering a room I feel guilty but I gotta go I love you guys so so much and I'll see you guys tomorrow oh.